Let's look at some visual eye candy that you can add real easily to make your tree view immediately look much, much better. FNC comes with a component called the bitmap container. I added a bitmap container to the form. I double clicked it and I simply added images to this container. One I called address and it's a PNG image. It's 16 times 16 pixels. It is basically a tiny little icon to signify an address. And I added a city icon, which is filled. You see that? And then I added another city icon, which is a little bit, um, it's not as, as, as colorful as the other one. So before you can use these icons that are just specified in the bitmap container, you have to link your bitmap container to the tree view. You do that specifying the bitmap container property. So here you have it. Bitmap container is container 16. That's this component. And why do I have the 16 in there? That's pretty easy. If I wanted to have different sizes for different DPIs and stuff like that, I would use different bitmap containers. Just putting it out there. However, the important thing to remember are the names. I have the name address for the address icon and city and C city. One is for collapsed and the other one is not collapsed. In order to link those icons to your columns, we have a property on the node. And you saw this before I commented it out. We have the node instance. And then for the address, which is in column number three, if you remember, or column number four with index three, I can specify collapsed icon names three, and the icon name is supposed to be address. The second parameter allows you to specify different size icons for different views. I'm not going to cover that in this demo, but Let's be aware of the fact you can specify small and large images, kind of like you used to from the VCL and other TMS components with toolbars. I specified the same image for the collapsed as well as the expanded. Right now, only the collapsed is going to be used because we don't have children for the address, but who knows what's going to happen. Furthermore, and this is the key thing, the collapsed icon name for the city is C city, and the expanded icon name for the same column is city. So let's see what happens. So far there's no difference. The only difference so far is I have a nice caption for the form. And now let's see, let's expand the arena. And you see here we have the icon of the city in front of the city. And let's expand that. And you see we have a clear color, color change between the expanded and not expanded version. And you also see the address is marked with an icon as well. Finally, let's have a look at the columns. I can change the size of the columns. How did I do that? And also the, the last column isn't spread up to the end anymore. So selecting the tree view, unselected stretch and stretch all. That means the columns are no longer stretched and you can if, and that's the next thing you have to set, you have to enable the user interaction that you're actually allowed to change the size. And then in the interaction property, you have column sizing. You need to set that to true. Otherwise, the user doesn't have the ability to change the size. If I take this away, let's run this again. I can't do anything here. You see that the columns are no longer stretched and I can't resize them. That has big disadvantages. For example, if I go to this here, you see that everything is cut off. You can't even see which beach access it is. So this is not really useful. Let's change this back to column sizing to true. And you can see that you can change it again, but still, even if we can change it, it's tedious, isn't it? Because I close this, I open this, I open this, and I always have to change the sizes, right? This is also not something we really want. To make this comfortable, we have the event which is called, and this, again, there are a lot of events, but there's an event called on after expand node. And this event allows you to specify something that's supposed to happen as soon as the node is expanded. What I do here is 
for all the columns of the tree, I call outer size column. That means all the expanded nodes will be outer sized. Of course, you have to be careful with this command if you have a huge amount of columns expanded. However, this way, what happens now is that everything you can see it here is resized according to the content. So if we go back to Boca Grande Beach Access, you see everything is nice and readable and nothing's cut off. And as long as this stays open, you will always have that minimum size for the column. I'm at the end of this video. It has been very detailed. It has been a major introduction to the FNC tree view component. And next I'm going to show you how you can convert this little tiny application into a multi-tier application using remote DB. And you'll still be able to use the same client code. Um, the only thing that we're going to, to use is the remote DB server framework. And then we're going to do the same thing with an X data server. So this is an add on to something that you've been doing for years using a uh, connection, a database connection using a query. And this will give you two options, how to migrate something like that over to a real server client architecture of sorts. That's, um, that's giving you loosely coupled code and much better code maintainability. Again, I'd like to mention one thing that is important to note about the FNC component. You'll get these FNC components for the VCL, for FireMonkey, for Lazarus. You have the same properties, the same methods, and the same events on all these frameworks, meaning you can target all the platforms that these frameworks offer using the same component. And that's, that's what makes FNC so powerful. And that's why you should always consider, do I use the VCL tree view or am I gonna skip to the FNC framework, even though right now I don't need this. And I just realized I forgot one big platform, the web platform, because TMS also offers TMS Web Core and FNC is also available on TMS Web Core. And I think there's also an example out there already, which shows you that you can use the FNC tree view in a TMS Web Core application. So hope to see you soon for these two additional videos showing you how to migrate a simple desktop application to a client server application and see you soon.